On this Earth Day, the Providence City Council has passed the Plastic Bag Reduction Act. This is an initiative aimed at making the city greener. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshuto was at tonight's city council meeting and joins us live in the capital city with more. Sheena? Well, Mike, Shannon, a lot of us are used to shopping with these little things, but in about six months, you won't be able to find them anymore in Providence. The full city council made their final vote tonight, and now the woman behind the ordinance hopes that more people will consider using a reusable bag just like this one. Majority leader Joanne Ryan says this ordinance is a big step forward for Providence. Tonight was a second passage and serendipitously it's on Earth Day. The full city council approved what's known as the Retail Plastic Bag Reduction Act. The ordinance will ban stores in Providence from distributing single-use plastic bags. It's sending a good, strong message that we need to get plastic bags out of our single stream recycling system and also just reduce our dependency on plastic bags. Local businesses have six months to make the switch to either paper bags or reusable bags, which means you may have to buy some at the checkout. And you might still see plastic bags at stores, but this new ordinance requires them to be 100% recyclable. Ryan says those can be used over and over again, too. We live in a disposable society, and it's too bad. Another version of this ordinance passed last year, but Mayor Elorza vetoed it. Ryan says this time around, the ordinance includes education opportunities for the community and businesses. The Office of Sustainability will work with retail stores to help them transition. But the good thing about this ordinance is it has a healthy dose of outreach and education. We think we've taken a big step today to uh, create a healthier Providence uh, and also a greener Providence. Now in six months when this ordinance is in full effect, any store that is caught using a single use plastic bag could face some fines. And we did check in with the mayor's office tonight. A spokesperson tells me that the mayor will be approving and signing this ordinance as soon as it gets to his desk. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.